was the hairstyle that launched the career in the swinging 60s, but former supermodel Twiggy has revealed she never actually wanted her most famous crop but only agreed to do the do because she was too shy to say no to the hairdresser. So, do we think we're a bit too like, polite for our own good sometimes? What would you have done in this situation, Carol? Uh, well, back in the day, I would definitely have said something. Um, I only had one bad haircut once, and it was because my hairdresser allowed another hairdresser to do my hair because he fancied me. And I just thought, that is just so wrong on every level. And basically, when I found that out, I went I went absolutely berserk. I complained in writing to the company, Good. said, this happened, blah, blah, blah. I don't think anything came of it, but I would complain. I would complain now, actually, if someone did something that I didn't really want, especially with the cost of hairdressing now, especially mm. in London. It's just outrageous. So I would say something, but that really, most of the time, I don't care about my hair. It's not a big thing. As I've had it cut because I won't go to the hairdressers because I won't want to sit there for the whole time with a mask yeah. on. Sorry, <laughs> I said it. <laughs> over, over the last 20 years of Loose Women, on and off, I've sat in makeup rooms with Carol going, oh, I don't want it, I don't like it, I oh, look it. stupid now, <laughs> don't you? That's what you do. Well, um, I, guess, I, I guess don't like it, I don't want to not look like me, that's the point. Yeah, which yeah. is great, right, which is like great. Me. That's true. I guess what, what the interesting thing about this is that that hairdo is what made Tw Twiggy. Yeah. That was the pivotal moment in her career. What would you say was your pivotal moment, Judy? Um, I, don't, I, I don't know. I think, like, what, in my career? Yeah. Uh, um, obviously, being here <laughs> is one of it. Hello. What was the moment that changed everything? Um, I think uh, definitely... I definitely would say, you know, being introduced to ITV and loose women yeah. and, and, and well, having a good stand I in comedy. Well, I can videos. tell you what your moment was. We've been teasing it for the, for most of the show. <laughs> it's this clip that was your changing moment. Let's oh take a look. Oh, my gosh. I mean, who the hell <laughs> invented and designed Elephant and Castle's roundabout? I was lost for about 20 minutes. I was going round and round, ring a ring of roses, pocket full of poses. I tissue you, I tissue you, me damn rass lost. It's too much. I was in South London, and at one stage, I felt like I was in East. That's the kind of roundabout that you bring your Bible with you. You bring your Bible, your Quran, you bring something with you, like a holy war, because you just want to get to the other side Say, You know what? Forget congestion, Charles. You just want people to say, now, nah, love it. I'm not going through Elephant and Castle, yeah? <laughs> the idea of a roundabout is to lessen the traffic. Instead, there's still traffic. I felt like I was in Crystal Maze. I felt like I was on Crichton Factor. Is that even the name? Kryptonite, Krypton Factor. No, you have to be Superwoman <laughs> and Superman to get round and round about. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. God. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you actually driving while saying that? No, no. I was driving. I'd stopped. I literally came out of it and was like, what that is this? Cool. Like, so where, what was going on in your life around that time? You know, I was a you know, single mum working. I had a uni uh, job as a social worker and, it, you know, it was part-time. I was travelling for two and a half hours there and back. Um, just at that stage, where I'm like, I'm really passionate about entertainment, and then I kind of, at that stage, made a decision to leave and yeah. went through, you know, months of like, this is hard, no paycheck, no nothing, and just really stepped out in faith. So if that video, oh, will make me feel emotional. Well, that, that was the moment because that's yeah. what the bosses here saw. Tom Sage, in fact. Yeah, and that was the <laughs> point. Oh, where I thought gosh, we've got to have this. I woman didn't in even the know that was the video. Yeah, because it was that's, that. what, that's and and you're the only loose woman I think that's come through that way. Most people have been known from somewhere. Else. Wow. But that came from that, your your place here wow. came from that. And oh wow. my God, it, I can watch that a hundred times and I can laugh every single time. It's interesting because you never really know when fate is going to strike. Never. And I remember wow. just before I started doing TV, it was because someone happened to see me up on stage testing out the auto cue for an event. They saw me and that particular person that ended up being someone that worked in telly asked me to do a screen test. And the rest is well, just you were just what testing the mic. I was just testing <gasps> the mics and the auto cues. You, you can't, incredible. you can't, you know. Thank wow. you, Edward Castle Roundabout. And I'll always, thank, I'll always thank Nicky Schiller for that because he was absolutely amazing.